Shrimpers in coastal Georgia are eager to get their nets in the water today as the state shrimping season begins. And this morning, Shay Schrader is joining us live in Thunderbolt as those shrimpers get ready to hit the water just a couple of hours from now. What are they hoping to get out of this season? <laughs> Kyle, the obvious answer to that is going to be lots and lots of good quality shrimp. And this year, the shrimpers that we spoke to said that they actually expect that they might be able to turn a larger profit this year than they did last year. And that all has to do with the cost of fuel. At the end of last shrimping season, we spoke to Captain Wynn Gale down in Darien, who said that he was paying over $5 a gallon for fuel for his boat. As of yesterday, he said that he was paying $2.92. That's going to help save a lot of money and turn a higher profit in a market that Gail says especially is flooded by non-local shrimp. A big worry that he does have heading into this season and beyond, however, is being able to keep a crew on his boat. It ain't looking too good because you can't hardly find a crew no more. Nobody wants to work. It's hard work. It's dirty, nasty, hard. And a lot of people just don't feel like doing it no more. A lot of boats are selling out, people getting out of it. Old timers are retiring. There's no young crew to come in to fill the shoes, you know. Gail adds that he had hoped that Georgia's shrimp season would have begun on June 1st like it did in South Carolina and Florida, but this year was delayed by about 20 days. And of course, that's going to affect the restaurants that rely heavily on Georgia shrimp during this season. Coming up on the next half hour of the News at Daybreak, we're talking to local restaurants about how the delay of the season is affecting them. Live in Thunderbolt, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.